I'm reviewing an application for you today that will help you balance power out of your phone and let you use your phone for a longer amount of time. The application was featured on the XDA portal, so we're going to go ahead and dive in and check it out. The app was originally featured on the XTA portal site by Poor College Guy. It talks about how the application itself is basically a battery saving mode. It optimizes your governor, your CPU, and some of the kernel information on your phone to give you the best battery life depending on the mode that you need. It does come built in with six options, and we'll talk about them a little bit more when we open up the thread. Now the thread was posted by Fonter, F-O-N-T-E-R. And the thread is a little bit old because it's referencing the six customizable mode. Um, and since the app itself has been posted on the Google Play Store, it's been updated to version 2.0. So uh, most of here, it just gives you an explanation with the all mode, the, uh, the power mode, the game and video, the call mode, standby, and then there's obviously the custom mode for the advanced users. And then it gives you a very nice picture to be able to download the latest update using a QR code. A little bit of a history on the update versions and uh, some download links if you didn't have access to the Google Play Store. Version 1.7, once installed, will connect itself to, to the Google Play Store. If we open up the app on the Google Play Store, the app itself has some good reviews. Uh, it's been around for very, not that long, actually, uh, but overall, a very satisfactory review. Uh, it's up to version 2.0 and updated, so let's go ahead and open it up on the phone. Okay, we'll open up the app on the phone. We'll go to the Google Play Store, open up the app, update it as of November 18th, version 2.0. We'll get, go, go open it. The interface is very simple. It gives you a quick snapshot of your phone's uh, information, vitals as far as how much, what's the CPU usage, the phone model, what state it's in, if it's in good charge, uh, good standing or not. The overall f six settings here are the modes that you are able to use to save your battery depending on the mode that you're going to be in. If you're going to be playing, if you're going to be watching movies, or if you're going to just use it as an all-day average. Uh, the daily mode, which essentially is if you're a very heavy user as a business user uh, and you're making a lot of calls and a lot of application use, not necessarily gaming. Standby mode, obviously, if you're an a casual user of the phone and you just want to have the longest amount of battery level. Custom mode is what I have it on right now, but overall, I like to keep it on the A1. Every time you select a different power mode, it switches the, uh, the configuration based on the settings that you have in the mode option. Now, this is also the section where you have the option of setting up if you wanted to reboot protection, notification, um, all the different options that you'd like to have. Um, and then the, the protection uh, reboot on protection is a very nice option so that it reinitializes itself and, re and runs itself in the background whenever you turn on your phone again. The flotation window, uh, we'll get into that in one second, but this is where you'd configure it. You have some options as far as optimization tips, explains to you um, where the official site is, the Google Play Store, and the XAD forum discussion is actually the XDA forum discussion. So maybe we need to put in a comment for the developer to spell check. Other than that, um, this is the option uh, if you have a phone that goes as far as uh, battery percentage by 10% increments, such as some of the Motorola phones, it has a built-in hack to be able to go ahead and show you the incremental update. The statistics give you a quick snapshot of some of the information that you have. Now, it tells me basically my, my phone's been off charge for 7 hours and 22 seconds. I'm down to 68%, and it gives me the list of some of the main applications that have been basically consuming my battery. Switches. This is a very nice option here. This is an advanced menu type of a switch. Uh, a lot of these mods are available on the market for the custom ROMs, but when you have a, a stock ROM, this is still running TouchWiz, so this is a nice option. I'm able to also go into quick kind of toggle options here, but I'll cover a little bit more about these when we go into the flotation ring. Defense just gives you a list of some of the applications that the, the program thinks is eating up a lot of your battery. So you can go in. This is no different than going into you know, app manager in your phone. So we'll go in, go back. If we go back to the main home screen, you're going to notice this. there's a little bit of a flotation thing going on here. This is part of the power uh, application itself. It gives you a quick toggle to be able to switch the modes on your phone so you don't have to launch the application every time. And then if you flick to the left, those are the same options you had in the quick setting uh, options. That was a quick overview of the application itself on the XDA portal, also on the Google Play Store. I've used the application for about two weeks on my phone. Now, I like the application. It does what it's supposed to do. What I would recommend you doing is downloading it, trying it for, trying it for a few days. Don't give it a judgment right away. The developer recommends you trying to do a comparison of a standby overnight using the application and not using it, and that, that way you can do a straight comparison. 
Um, I like the different modes. I like the fact that it does uh, launch itself after you reboot. The fact that it requires certain permissions it is not really that intrusive in my opinion. But I would say try it out. Tell me what you think. Um, if also, just for the sake of blooper uh, purposes, you'll notice on the Google Play Store that they've chosen to use an iPhone as the background of, or the device shape. And then in the description in the picture, they refer to it as an Nexus One. Uh, you know, that just cracked me up. But other than that, I think it's just a, uh, a little... Uh, humor. Uh, the other thing is, of course, is they misspelled XDA uh, as one of their reference threads in the application and on the XD, uh, on the Google Play Store. But other than that, I think the application does very does good work and it works very nicely on the phone. Uh, I like the little shortcut menus that it gives you. So if you ever wanted to have like a power mod or one of those additional setting, quick settings on your phone, it'll put that in an overlay with that little sticky thing that I showed you guys during the review. Hope you guys like this video and uh, please like and subscribe to the XDA Developer website uh, TV and I will see you guys next week.